Hey guys, it's Karen and I'm here to talk about my evening skincare routine and it's changed a little bit since the last one. The morning one has pretty much stayed the same but yeah this one has changed a little bit so I'm excited to tell you about some of these things. Um, so firstly to take my makeup off I either do it in the shower with a makeup removing cloth or some kind of oil um, or I have been using this. This is the Garnier Micellar Oil Infused Cleansing Water. So this is the second bottle of this I've used. I really like this. This takes off all of my eye makeup, um, even including mascara and whatnot. I don't always wear, I don't very often wear waterproof mascara, but I do wear long wearing stuff, you know, so long wearing eyeliner, waterproof eyeliner, that kind of thing. It all comes off very easily with this. And I go over my face with it as well. And then I follow it with my micellar water. This is the Esther Cucumbers one that I love. So when I've done that, um, the first thing I've been doing at the moment is been using my new face. This is the eye and lip attachment. E-L-E, -E. I think there's something else, eyes, lips. Anyway, um, I think this is for eyes and lips actually, but this is what I've been using and I have been using it on my eyes um, along with the new face silk cream, firming and brightening silk cream. This you can use as a conductive gel um, so yeah that's really interesting and I actually noticed this morning I was looking I, I let my eyes go really really relaxed and I was could see that I could there was a line of my right lid that I could see I could see my mobile lid and I can't usually see that very easily and so I need to do some more pictures I did some pictures before I started using this um, I started this about a week ago maybe a week and a half something like that and I am going to do you know some before and after pictures for you like before use it and then take an after picture and also a few weeks ago and then using it for a couple of weeks as well um, but I think it's more immediate results from this from memory because I remember using the little Foreo bear do you remember and I got some good results um, so yeah it'd be really interesting to see but I just sort of go along like that three times and then I hold it there and there and there and then I do that three times as well um, I, I do try to sometimes go across like that but I feel like it's getting just a little bit too close to my eye because the way that they demonstrate it it's obviously on somebody that's got a huge amount of eyelid space <laughs> um, so I'm using that with that and then I sort of um, go over it again with my micellar water just to take any residue off and start my skincare routine the first thing I've been putting on is by Glossier and it's called a bubble wrap. Um, it's a little tube like this. And this is, what does it say? Eye and lip plumping cream. I just thought it sounded really interesting. It's just a white sort of lotion. Um, it feels nice and thick, but not too thick because I'm always wary of creams that are too thick because years ago I used to use the Bobbi Brown extra eye cream and I thought that was amazing but it was so so thick and I ended up with lots of little milia on my eyelids and under my eyes you know those tiny little white they look like whiteheads but you can't get them out you know um so I'm always wary if it's too thick but this is really really nice um and so I put that all over my eyelids and under my eyes and then I put a little bit on my lips as well and that's been really really hydrating um I then follow it with the A game by Geek and Gorgeous, so this is the retinal, and this is the retinal uh, 0.1%, so you can get 0.05%. Um, and I think I was using this in the last routine, but I'm using it with something different. I've just bought this. This is by Real Techniques, and it is a skincare sponge. So the idea is that you use this sponge part to put your toner on, and you use this little plastic massaging part to apply your skincare. So I just, it was so gimmicky, I thought I had to try it. And I didn't think I'd like it at all. I thought I would just like, you know, use it once and go, oh, no, that's rubbish. I have to say the sponge part is not very good because if you put, like say I poured that on, you know, put a few drops of that on, it would just run off. Let's see if I can do it without making too much of a, can you see that that sort of sits on top of it? I don't think you'll be able to see that. Maybe if I, no, but if you do this, then it does absorb but to me that's not what like it says to apply toner and I'm not I don't want to dab toner on me if you know what I mean I think where this sponge would be really good would be with if you use an essence so there was one that was, it was called a toner by Claire's or dear Claire's 
and it was a hyaluronic acid type product and I really liked it but I just couldn't figure out how to apply it. It was one that I kind of ended up putting on my hands and, and applying with my hands but it was just a little bit too thin to be doing that. Um, so this would actually be quite good to apply that. But what I've really enjoyed is this little bit and that's what I've been applying my retinol with. So I just put one little pump in the middle here and I'm sort of massaging it in and it feels like you know, I'm really kind of getting the, the circulation going on my skin. I'm really sort of pushing this into my skin. I don't know how effective it will be, you know, and obviously you'll need to make sure you wash this regularly. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it more than I thought. I've only been using it for three or four days, but I'm really enjoying it. And I've it's easy to wash, you know, you just scrub on the end and that's it done. So um, it's maybe just a bit of a gimmick for me that the, the novelty will wear off. <laughs> um, so I put that retinol on my face. I don't put it on my neck at all. Um, and I specifically have been using the eye cream and lip cream before using the retinol because this is still quite a strong retinol and I don't want it to get near my eyes. I don't want it to travel to my eyes. You know, I want there to be something there that's a barrier and I don't want it to travel to my lips either. So that glossy thing is perfect. After that, I am using this. This is a new find. This is by Belly. So Belly is an Amazon brand and I've been using their... Um, micellar water for quite some time I also use their cleansing milk which I really like and they're great in that they don't seem to have fragrance in and they don't tell you the percentage um, of things so this one is a peptide plus hyaluronic acid serum and it doesn't tell me the percentages but um, I'm okay with that and I'm actually really enjoying this there's obviously not too much hyaluronic acid because you guys know I don't really get on with hyaluronic acid but this is one of those where you only need to use the tiniest amount like that's going to go all the way up my arm now because <laughs> You only need one drop and it, you know, goes everywhere and it feels really nice. So I follow with that all over my face and all over my neck. So it's the first thing really I'm using on my neck. But it feels really, really moisturising and I love it. So that's the next thing. And then the final thing I'm using is this by Boots Ingredients. Do you remember I showed you... Did I show you the little, it's very, very similar to this. I think it was in my empties. It's called a hyaluronic acid moisturizer. I think it's slightly wider than this. This is 30 mil as well though, I'm sure. Yeah, this is 30 mil. It's just, it's slightly wider. It's obviously slightly shorter. I love it. I absolutely love the hyaluronic acid moisturizer as a night cream. But I thought I would try this one, which is called a sleep mask and just see if it was any different. It does feel quite different actually. It's, it's more of a gel formula. It's more, um, I don't know what, what else to, what, what am I trying to say? It's thicker, I suppose. It's a bit more like gel and it's a little bit thicker. The other one is a bit more fluid. It's a bit more like a fluid. This one is a little bit more like a cream, but it's actually a gel. Um, it's got a really odd smell that I'm not keen on. It smells a bit like paint, but it feels really nice. And I have to say my skin, has felt nice and moisturized. Oh, my tan's looking a bit patchy there, isn't it? Oh well. But I'm touching my neck because I have noticed that I've been touching my neck a few times and going, oh, that actually feels quite moisturized during the day because my neck never seems to stay moisturized and I've got a little spray that I use. In fact, I should show you that as well. It's from Geek and Gorgeous. I'll just tell you about it. It's just a little spray that I got free with my last order and it is a hydrating spray. And so I've been keeping that out and sort of touching my neck to see if it feels dehydrated or dry and then just giving that a spritz. Um, so I suppose it might be that building up the moisture as well. But when I've been using this, I've been touching it and thinking, oh, it's not dry at all. I don't need to do anything, you know. Um, so I really enjoy this. I, I don't know what I think about the smell. If I get fed up by the smell at the end of it, I might end up not repurchasing it, but it is really nice. So that's my kind of final step. And I put that all over my face, all over my eyes, on top of that eye cream, all over my neck, everywhere. Um, and then that's me done. Apart from, I'm using an eyelash serum. This is by May Create. Um, it's just one with an eyeliner brush. I feel like you need to make sure you get one with an eyeliner brush. I did in the past order eyelash serums and they came in a mascara and I thought, no, that's, that's an eyelash conditioner, which to me is different from an eyelash growth serum. It actually says on here, eyelash growth serum. Um, and the one that I had really good success with was one that had peptides in actually by Kiki Lash, but they don't seem to be selling it anymore. So I thought I'd just give this one a go and see how I get on. So that's my evening routine, eye cream, retinol, peptide, night cream, and then an eyelash serum. Um, 
The only thing I would say about my skincare routine lately is I've noticed that my eyes are watering. And this is a problem that, you know, if you've been with me for a while, you'll know that occasionally I get this watery eye problem. The Opticom drops that I buy from Boots are normally, or Amazon even, normally sort it out. They certainly help even if they don't completely cure it. But it can sometimes be so severe that I, you know, I think I'm going to film and then I don't film because it just always seems to be on one eye and it waters so much that it literally takes off most of my eye makeup and I end up having to take my eye makeup off and my eyes just look awful, you know. So I've had that recently and I can end up kind of blaming lots of different products and not being sure what it is. So I'm not sure what it is. I don't think it's this because I've been using this for quite a few weeks and didn't have the issue. I've used the Retinol before. Um, it happened before I started using this peptide serum and before I started using this. So I wonder if it is using the microcurrent. So I actually last night didn't do it on my right eyelid um, and just did it on my left. And my eye is not too bad today, but it's difficult to tell because it could just be allergies as well. It could be, you know, the changing of the seasons. Um, but if it doesn't go away, I'll need to kind of assess everything I'm using and see if it is anything that I'm using here. Um, I think this is the biggest change to my routine though. I'm so, so excited about this because as far as I know, it's the only one, the only kind of device out there that you can use like right on your eyelids here. Um, I think, well, you can use an RF device, but that I haven't seen a great RF device that you can use around your eyes. Um, that would be interesting to me as well, to be honest. But this is really interesting because I think that this currency, this currency, this microcurrent technology works. You know, I've seen it work with the new face and that was quite big. Um, you know, the electrodes were quite big, whereas this is very, very targeted. So I'm quite excited that this might prevent me needing or wanting another blepharoplasty surgery. So, um, yeah, that's everything. Thank you very much for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed that and I'll speak to you again soon.